Hi, I'm Brett Newberry. Today I want to discuss a subject that we are using more and more in our practice related to financial audits, forensic audits, and tax compliance. There are hidden patterns in the chaos that we know as data. In the 1930s, the physicist Frank Benford found that there was predictable patterns to the digits and the numbers in tabulated data. For many years, this little secret was known to only a few people, made up mainly of mathematicians and the Benford family. In the 1990s, the accountant Mark Negrini first advocated the use of Benford's law as a test for fraud and of data integrity. Fraudsters falsely use numbers to give credibility to their scams. Frank Benford inadvertently gave us a way to catch many of these crooks. Benford was a brilliant, if somewhat eccentric, engineer whose hobby from an early age was mathematics. Benford's law essentially states that the sequence of multiple numbers from real-life sources is likely to be distributed in a specific, non-uniform way. This counterintuitive result can apply to lists such as stock prices, death rates, and population numbers. Negrini took Benford's original data and developed it into solid analytical methods to detect a variety of white-collar misdeeds, vendor, payroll, and sales tax frauds, fraudulent medical and insurance claims, check fraud and tax evasion, among others. Benford set out in precise terms the expected single digit and digit combination frequencies for lists of data. These expected frequencies are now known as Benford's Law. Benford's data showed that on average 30.6% of these numbers had a first digit number one and 18.5% of his numbers had a first digit number two. The probabilities of the digits are such that there is a large bias in favor of the lower digits, such as 1, 2, and 3, over the higher digits, such as 7, 8, and 9. This large bias is reduced as we move from the first digit to the second and later digits in numbers. We analyze data using Bedford's Law to determine potential red flags that the data contains abnormal duplications and anomalies. These red flags do not mean that fraud has been committed. However, you need to investigate these anomalies to determine why certain digits are not following the pattern of Benford's Law. You may determine that the anomalies can be explained, but you may determine that someone is committing fraud. Every organization needs to ask this question. Can you afford to ignore the opportunity to analyze your business data to determine if your organization is being ripped off? The answer should be no. Thank you.